Hi everybody, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. So far in this course, we've gone over uh, selections, corrections, selections at length, corrections, exposure and color, your retouching tools, and all about layers and layer masks and how they all relate. So now we're going to put this all together and in this lesson and a couple of more, we're going to talk about composites, principally photo composites, and how to take different photographic elements and combine them to make one finished image that is absolutely undetectably perfect. There are some techniques in here to perfect the compositing of photos that don't necessarily have to be used with such uh, precision in making graphic design composites but the principles of compositing are exactly the same. So let's get started. What we're going to talk about in this lesson is seeing digitally the art of being able to visualize how elements are going to fit to make a finished product. In other words, uh, when I was doing automotive compositing, let me just show you an example. Here is a composite that I did for uh, Martin Chevrolet from scratch and they wanted a Corvette in action. So here's the Corvette going down the roadway. The sun is coming in. You can see it slashing across the background. The background is blurred perfectly. The wheels of the car are spinning. The roadway is blurred. The car is crystal clear because effectively we're panning the camera with the car so that the car stays crisp but you can even see through the driver's side windows that the background is blurred and even it's kind of hard to see through here but it's blurred right over in there. The edges are nice and clean on the cutout of the car. Everything looks like a single image but it's not. There's the car. It was shot on the back parking lot of the dealership just to make sure that the light was correct the windows even open on the car. The gal is driving, supposedly, with the window open. The background, this was the original background facing with the roadway going downhill. Actually, the actual original of this shot was in this direction. This was the way I shot it. But I saw that, and this is the seeing digitally, I went, OK, the light here is coming just from the right and slightly backlit, maybe 1 o'clock, it's in the afternoon. If I flip the image, and this is what I was able to see, now I just look at the light. You can see it's backlit slightly. You can see that shadow up here is slightly down from the bush. It's almost noontime, but it could be later in the afternoon. A little shadowing out to the side. You can see that on the side rocks. So that matches up with the Corvette. Now we have the shadows a little longer in the back, but it could be, you know, about 1 or 2 o'clock, and also could be 1 or 2 o'clock here. And when we blur it up a little bit, it's going to match. So I said, that's fine. So all we had to do was rotate the car uphill, rotate the roadway uphill, and size everything in place. And lo and behold, it's a flawless composite. That's what I talk about learning to 